Zenith had already stunned the entire watch market this year when they introduced the Chronomaster Sport, which was both a complex and controversial chronograph. But the luxury Swiss watchmaker just can't stop releasing awesome timepieces as they have announced the brand new Chronomaster Original range. This succeeds the A386 line, which was the infamous and flagship model from the brand. However, they may also be subject to another bashing from the watch snobs as Come on, you have to admit, Zenith are possibly taking a bit too much influence from the Rolex brand. There's a lot to cover with this new piece, so in today's video, I'll be providing my first impressions on this piece, an overview on the specifications, and some additional opinions. But before we start, please subscribe to the channel if you would like to be updated with all the new watch releases in the market. My first impressions are very good ones, as right off the bat, this model is just so nice to look at and is iconic. There are three different variants with the traditional tricolor dial in standard steel, that same dial but in rose gold and without a doubt the best looking and my favourite, the reverse panda. I'll be mainly focusing on this one as it is the more different model and is subject to a bit of controversy as well. What Zenith have achieved here is simply magnificent as they have combined both the beefy specifications and movement from the Corona Master with the beauty and elegance of the OG El Primero model. The reverse panda is, in my opinion, the perfect blend of vintage looks and modern performance because you get a very impressive Zenith caliber but with a very iconic vintage 60s style chronograph look. This has been achieved through the use of the outer ring design on the dial, the simplicity of the case, the faux patina on the hour markers and the cherry on top which is the awesome brand leather strap that complements the look so well. The other new Chronomaster original models also share the same retro look but are also are a bit more contemporary, especially the rose gold one. On first impressions, I believe this could be the best release of 2021 as both watch includes impressive timekeeping capabilities and an uber cool vintage design. Now let's get into the nitty gritty and talk about the specifications. The 38mm case is in my opinion the perfect size as it appeals to every wrist size and is appropriate for a more dressy chronograph. I think a 36 would have been too small for a mon piece and 41 would have not been an appropriate size for a more retro design. The case is standard steel or 18 karat rose gold depending on which one you choose and it has a decent water resistance rating of 15 meters. I think it would have been awesome if it had 100 meters so you could swim with it but this range isn't really designed to be an everyday sports watch. The dial is jam packed with all the iconic Zenith features and hasn't really changed much in that department. You have the option for a stainless steel bracelet which has a cool vintage look to it as well or a choice of a blue, brown or dark brown leather strap depending on what model you choose. But without a doubt the most impressive specification on this piece is the movement. The Zenith 36000 caliber that was previously featured on the popular Chronomaster Sport is a beast of a movement and has a range of complex features. It beats to a rapid 36,000 vibrations per hour and has a good power reserve rating of 60 hours. But the best feature about this caliber is its ability to measure one tenth of a second which is a lot different from the more traditional chronograph complications you would see on a Speedmaster or a Daytona. Speaking of the devil, the new Corona Master original design may not be all original as it is clear it has drawn inspiration from the iconic Paul Newman Daytona design from the 60s and 70s. This is mainly due to the dial and the case shape which features a similar retro design and the slimmer case which provides the more dressy and vintage look. But one could also say that this is all BS as it doesn't really look like it at all. This may be true as from a distance you could probably distinguish the two and the Zenith has a few features the Rolex doesn't. For example, there is no tachometer, the subdial is actually silver compared to the Daytona's white and they are also connected which gives the Chronomaster a unique look. I personally think it looks similar but not to the point where you can call it a homage or copy. This new release from Zenith in my opinion was a very very good decision as it has granted us with this awesome looking retro panda chrono which has some modern complications as well. Click the videos on the screen right now to see a review on the Zenith Chronomaster Sport which was released earlier this year and a review on my own personal vintage Zenith Manual 1 Sporto. 
Make sure you subscribe if you want to keep updated on all the new watch releases and hopefully I'll see you in another video.